Hey, welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel. And uh, well, today is a big day for those that are waiting for some videos regarding this uh, brand new Texan PL990X. Um, most of the videos today, I'll be comparing it with the XH Data D808. I'll be giving some personal opinions. I'll be, of course, showing you guys some of the features. I'll be also um you know comparing reception of two stations propagation is a little crappy today we're in geomagnetic storm territory so uh, signals are not the best but we will find some signals to listen to and we will compare them that's for sure there's still some stuff to listen to so i've been testing the uh, texan pl 990x for the last uh, few days of course for those that watched the live show on friday there was a unboxing live um, and I am still really um, I'm very impressed with it but you will see that um, my opinion goes to whatever you know if you want to buy a radio uh, you'll see that I still think the XH Data D808 is you know a really good radio for the amount of money paid the Texan PL 990X is a great radio and it works fine and it is amazingly um, easy to tune around and uh, of course that means that I really love it it's probably my favorite radio right now and so it does have a little edge on it but that edge is it you know worth it is it what makes a difference between you know getting an eight stage data or this there is quite a big difference there you know the price is like about twice as expensive to get a 990X than it is to get a D808. So that's something to think about. So for two times the price, do you have two times the performance? Not really. And I can say that from the test that I've been doing in the past few days, what you get on one, you get it on the other. Nothing that you hear on the uh, Texan PL990X is uh, not possible on the XH data. It's really more of a question of the quality of what you'll get. The audio it plays a big, big role in the quality of the radio. And I think the majority of what I hear in two signals from the same radio, from, uh, from the, 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 the two radios you see here actually, the PL990X and the XH Data D808 is mostly resumed in how good the auto quality of the 990X is, making it easier to understand and hear a signal. Uh, and a noisy signal will be easier to listen to on the Texan than on the XH Data. But like I said, both will still get that same signal. So uh, this is something to, to think about. And of course, as we go on today, there's going to be quite a lot of videos uh, popping up with all of this. So this is going to be, uh, I think, a lot of fun. And uh, I think you guys are going to enjoy what I have to do and say. I'll also be using the Texan PL990X to kind of show uh, a little bit how uh, some of the features make it easier to tune, especially single sideband. I'll be, um, of course, using some uh, probably... Me using my Texan PL680. A lot of you uh, want to have videos on how to tune single sideband signals. I think we're going to be playing around with that today to try to kind of help everyone in what we have to uh, to do in our shortwave hobby and hopefully, you know, try to help uh, newcomers to the hobby. And of course, you guys want to know how good the PL990X is compared to others. That's, of course, something that we often want. Uh, for those that would like to see how it compares to the 880, I don't have an 880, so it's impossible for me to do that. Uh, there's a few videos online. It seems to run down to the fact that most of the radio, the 990X, is as good at least as the 880. Some say the audio is a little better. I don't know because I don't have an 880 to listen to it, but I have to say the audio of the 990X is superb. It is really, really what makes and gives it that edge. 
So uh, more to come on this and uh, more comments and more videos popping up today. Hope you're going to enjoy the comments and hope you're going to enjoy seeing the 990X in action. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.